Bereth is the 28th spirit listed in the Ars Goetia and a great duke of hell. He is a great duke of hell, powerful and terrible, with 26 legions of demons under his command. Bereth was the chief secretary of hell, head of its public archives, and the demon who tempted men to blasphemy and murder. When seated among the princes of hell, he was usually seen as the grand pontiff for order of the fly. As an angel, Bereth was prince of the order of cherubim. As a demon, he serves as a master of ceremonies, he notarizes pacts with the devil. He is respectful and worshipped by alchemists and necromancers. Bereth was important to some alchemists, who believed he had the power to transmute all base metals into gold. He was tricky to conjure, however, and had to be summoned with magic rings bearing his seal. He was known for making great promises, but also for being a great liar. Appearance He rides a gigantic red horse and burns those without manners. He is depicted as a knight or soldier wearing red armor and a golden crown wielder either a sword, lance or trident, according to other grimoires his skin is red too. History Fall from Grace Bereth was an angel that resided in heaven, only to become a fallen angel that joined Lucifer during the war in heaven, becoming a great duke of hell whose sole purpose was to corrupt human souls to damnation. Botched Possession During his one of his possessions, he went for an easy target and then attempted to drag the soul of a young male from Nepali to hell. However, during the process, a guardian angel in the area detected his presence and tried to save the young human soul. In fear of his own safety, Bereth panicked and incinerated the human's body into nothingness in an attempt to escape. But before Bereth could return to hell, the angel would merge the infernal duke with the human body in order to properly end Bereth's existence so he could no longer cause harm to humanity. Bereth instead was able to absorb the remaining human essence before entering hell, devouring it in the end. False Canaan God Bereth was also worshipped as the patron god of the city of Canaan. He was beloved by all of his people, so much so that they made small figurines of him and carried them around, occasionally pulling them out to kiss them as worship. He was even more popular than the kings of the region. When his subjects in the area began rebelling, King Abimelech of the Philistines destroyed Bereth's temple and banished any worship of him. Those who continued to worship him were persecuted and became considered idolaters. Thus, his once good name became demonized by those who wanted control of his city and people. It seems he took offense to how quickly his own people turned their backs on him and seems to have great disdain for the organized religions that followed his downfall. Prophecy After the slave uprising in Pandemonium, several demons attempted to enter to the mortal world. Bereth was one of such that seduced a mortal named Trent to become his vessel. Ashley Strode prevented him from fully crossing over and sent him back to hell. Personality. Bereth is interesting demon, he can be spiteful, hostile and detached but at the same loyal and chivalrous. Bereth takes pleasure in his purpose corrupting the strongest willed and arrogant of humans, also enjoys being alone and drinking the blood of doves. Hates most humans in general but mostly those who believe themselves to have power. He was also quite a voluble sort. According to the admirable history written by Father Sebastian Michaelis in 1612, Bereth once possessed a nun in Aix-en-Provence. In the process of the exorcism, Bereth volunteered not only his own name and the names of all the other demons possessing her, but the names of the saints who would be most effective in opposing them. It seems that Lord Bereth has a bit of history with the kings and churches that came after his time. Power and Abilities Bereth has superhuman abilities such as agility, strength, fire manipulation, 
and his main power he used in spirit form perspective manipulation. He uses this power by creating illusions to corrupt humans to sin by simply altering one's view on situations. He gives true answers to all things past, present and future as long as he is asked, but when not answering questions is a liar. He can turn any metal into gold, give dignities and confirm them. Lured by a handsome reward, he will ensure that great public dignities and manifold riches are bestowed upon the conjurer. Finally, he possesses the rather singular power or lending clarity of sound and ease of elocution to the voices of singers. The magician must use a ring to magically divert the flaming, noxious fumes from the mouth of the demon. Myth and Legends Bereth is the Hebrew word for covenant, it was originated from the Akhenadian, Babylonian, word biri to which means to fetter or to bond. Baal Bereth was a form of Baal worshipped in Bereth, Beirut, Phoenicia. He is also called Beel, Berithi, Bofri, Bolfri and Bolfri by necromancers. In alchemy Bereth was the element with which all metals could be transmuted into gold, surely derived from the name of the demon Bereth. Although he might not be as well known as Abaddon, the demon in charge of arranging aggressions against humans, Bereth is a formidable and tricky demon. Serving a dual role as both the Duke of Hell and Satan's secretary, he is responsible for a variety of tasks, including formalizing Satan's packs with mortals. In Le Trésor d'Albert Petty, a method of conjuring him under a form resembling can be found. On a Monday night a black chicken is bled at a crossroads. One must say, Bareth will do all my work for twenty years and I shall recompense him. Or else one may write the spell on a piece of virgin parchment with the chicken's blood. The demon thus evoked will appear the same day, and put himself completely at the conjurer's disposal. But after twenty years, Bereth will claim his reward for services rendered. Original text from the Ars Goetia. The twenty-eighth spirit in order, as Solomon bound them, is named Bereth. He is a mighty, great, and terrible duke. He hath two other names given unto him by men of later times, viz, Beal, or Beal, and Bofri or Bolfri. He appeareth in the form of a soldier with red clothing, riding upon a red horse, and having a crown of gold upon his head. He giveth true answers, past, present, and to come. Thou must make use of a ring in calling him forth, as is before spoken of regarding Beleth. He can turn all metals into gold. He can give dignities, and can confirm them unto man. He speaketh with a, very clear and subtle voice. He governeth twenty-six legions of spirits.